Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Japan and today we're going to do a video review of Transformers United UN25 Tank Megatron. And hey, check it out. <laughs> Man, that is one ugly tank. But I love these purple and turquoise and orange colors. Let me tell you, let me show you the package real quick. Let me put this in the back over here. Yeah, I bought a second one. I had to. Yeah, limited quantity. Okay, whatever. But... Yeah, there you go. There's a package UN25. So you remember Transformers United. This is the 25th line here. There is Megatron in his hyper realistic glory. And the stats over here it does have a gimmick robot mode, vehicle mode, weapon. Face does have that light piping, so you can see that. So that's pretty much it right there. All right. Oh, yeah, side of the package. So you want to see tank Megatron. Yeah, UN25. All right, nothing special. Yeah, let's put the package back down. Let's focus on the main dude himself. Why not? Okay, there we go. Little tank. Eh, it has great eh, details, okay. Nice molding. What can I say? Uh, purple. <laughs> Good amount of purple. Turquoise, orange. Man, if, yeah, if on the underside, not the bad, not bad. You can see a little bit of kibble. These are actually the dude's feet over here. So the molding is pretty good. I like the camouflage, if you can call it that. From the top, not too bad. It hides it pretty well. Uh, tank does swivel, so you can do that. And this doesn't, it moves up, sorta. There we go. Yeah, the turret does move up. Good detailing on that. This is the Megatron's little gun over here. So detailing isn't that bad. The tank is looking pretty good. Not bad. I love those colors. I don't know. Very G2 like. What can I say? I don't know. I'm a sucker for G2. So the kibble is not too bad. It hides it pretty well. So I'm just going to give it solid, solid. Very solid. I like it. It rolls all right. You know, what can I say? Seven and a half out of ten. What can I say? Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go ahead and transform this bad boy. I'm going to take this little gun off. Yeah, there's a detail on the gun. Set that to the side over here. Yeah, darn crows. Okay, what we're going to do is go ahead and... You know, give me a second because uh, we don't transform this thing anymore. Okay, these are the arms right here. So split those apart. Okay, move that to the side. We're going to move the legs. Move that 90 degrees down. And that's pretty much it. Here's the Megatron's little feet. So there we go. Voila. What can I say? All right. And you can kind of see where this is going. So just move that up 90 degrees. Turn the top of the tank. And you can see by exposing the, the arms, it exposes his head. And like I said, it has wonderful light piping. I don't know if you can tell. Um, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Now, put these arms down, and they do tab in. Move that down, and swivel that around. Not bad. Same thing on the other side. Pull it down, tabs into the side. Move it down, and, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in this position right here, because he has a little gimmick. So, split the feet apart, and there you go. Not too difficult a transformation. I don't like the fact that the fist is molded in. Oh, what can you do? Set them down. Hey, it's not that bad. Let's let's get on with this gimmick. Let me just go ahead. Check this out. Little button over here. Press that and guess what? Oops. There we go. Yeah. So he doesn't have an arm because of that little gimmick. So, oh well. You want to go ahead and move him up like that. And he looks more like the Megatron that you know and love from G1. Well, this is more G2-like, so what can I say? So there we go. Let's go for the articulation. Uh, I already mentioned the light piping in his head, which is kind of neat. Uh, ball jointed. No, actually it just swivels back and around because it's actually from the classic line and that does happen. That's one thing I don't like, it's just on there. And I'll show you when I pop it back in. Shoulder does rotate 360. Arm does rotate back. Bicep swivel. Single jointed. Elbow. Of course the fist is molded in. And I forgot to put his gun. And hey, give me a second. There we go. Now badass. <laughs> does have a waist swivel which is very good. Okay. Ball jointed hips. Upper thigh swivel. 
knees are really tight. So you got one single jointy knee. The ankle just basically moves up and down and little toe swivel. And like I mentioned before, this thing is loose, so it kind of pops up. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, articulation's okay. You know what? I just am digging those colors. Let's give him a size comparison. Wow, he's tiny. <laughs> Look at that. He's tinier, tinier than good old Generations Megatron or Cybertron. I don't know. War for Cybertron. I don't know what that is. Sorry. So those are Megatrons right there. He's a little, he's classic, so he looks like he's about five inches tall. Let me give him another seven and a half for the robot mode because I wish his articulation was a lot better. But man, I'm digging those colors, man. What can I say? I love that purple. All right. That's all I got, YouTubers, and i catch you all next time.